So last season, I was pretty adversarial with the judges. You couldn't even have it. How could you even have it? I just put in too much Xanthan gum. I took a risk, right? Daddy's favorite. I wanted to honor my father. That didn't work out. So no more honoring my father. Till cheesecake. Okay, I'm gonna read everything. Not me, I'm going one step at a time. Oh, well. well. <laughs> what did you do? He already dropped an egg. <laughs> We're gonna be Ned and Ariel today. Oh, Homers. I claim Ar I'm Ariel. Okay, I'm Ned. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> what if I was just Ned the whole time? Let's do this! Woo! I love brownies. My dad used to make brownies. We're, Howard's Burgers love brownies. So you're trying to make your dad proud today? I'm trying to make my dad proud every day, Zach. <laughs> but I'm not going for daddy's favorite this time. No, no, I'm actually taking something that my mother cherishes. Now, last time I did all daddy's favorite. We remember last favorite, it was all about daddy. But this time, it's about mommy. Because my mother loves ruffles. She used to say something to me as a child that I'll never forget. Ruffles have ridges. So I thought when I make brownies this time, what if I made a chocolate chip brownie? But instead of putting chocolate chips in it, maybe I'll put potato chips with chocolate in it. She did message me and ask me why I didn't do any episodes dedicated to her, and she was right. So you did a whole season for your dad, and one episode for your mom. Mm -hmm, and I'm also doing another episode for my dad. This <laughs> now I have made deep dish pizzas. I've even made deep dish pizzas in the last couple years. Now I know a lot of people out there who are purists are gonna say, that's not pizza. Chicago pizza isn't pizza. F you, yeah it is. I am making a Chicago deep dish pizza. Fun fact, I used to work at a Chicago style fast food place in college, so I've made Italian sausage sandwiches. I've made Italian beef sandwiches. So I thought, let's take two of the best flavors Chicago has and make a super Chicago pie. I can't imagine any of us know how to make cheesecake. And if anybody does successfully make cheesecake, they cheat it. Oh, you're bringing up her raisins in the crust? Well, I'm gonna, I'm, we're, we're gonna find out. You've been waiting for it. Daddy's favorite rides again. It's back, baby. Cinnamon raisin ready to reclaim the title. Cinnamon raisin just didn't make sense for any of the other dishes in this season, except for this, because there is such a thing called rum raisin cheesecake. I'm gonna make an oatmeal raisin cookie, and I'm gonna build a cheesecake on top of that. I do not know how to do that. So I'm gonna use Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal and classic oatmeal cookies. Now I thought about making my own oatmeal raisin cookie, but that didn't really work out super well for me last season. <laughs> you! How dare you pile on in my moment of weakness! So I thought, you know, let's only bake one thing at a time per episode. So I brought my own cast iron skillet. What I love about cast iron skillets is if you own one, you technically also own a weapon. I don't want to kill a person, but if I have to, I'm using a skillet. So this is where you want to check for a pointy, glossy top as the whisk pulls away from the meringue. So this is Stiff Peaks moment. You gotta get those Stiff Peaks. You gotta get those eggs nice and stirred up so they're stiff and hard. Turn off the oven and we'll just leave it slightly ajar. So next you wanna cool it very slowly because if you pull the oven door completely open, a lot of cold air will rush in and it might like crack. How open should the door be? Just like this? No, just crack it. Just you think crack? It says door open, crack door it. cracked. That's open. That's open? Yeah. Does this feel good? No, no, no way. It says allow to cool with the door open. It does not say ajar. It doesn't say cracked. It's open. That's open. A crack is like when that's it's- That's not open. That's open. You don't think that's open? It's not open. You're telling me that ain't open. That ain't open. It's open. It's open. I'm not, that's cracked. <laughs> it, no. That's ajar. This is cracked. That's, that's cracked. cracked. This is ajar. That's open. This is gaping. That's gaping. Yeah, <laughs> that's gaping. That's, that's, not that's wide open. Cracking. Look, just split the difference. There, it's open. Do you, Do you think a jar is less than cracked or the same as cracked? No, crack is less than a jar, but a jar is more than more than cracked. But they're both small. I mean, that's cracked. That's, yeah, that's, cracked. that's a jar. It's still a jar. No, this is open now. Now we're. You're basically an open. <laughs> like, imagine if that was your uh, front door and you were like going to sleep. Would someone say? Oh, it's fine, honey. The, the door's ajar. You'd be like, no, the door's open. No, it's open. Again. Someone's a, gonna a come raccoon, If a raccoon can squeeze through, it's open. Yeah, honey, the front door's open. The front door's open. That's open. Ned, Ned, is this open? <laughs> it's open. It's open, Ned. If anything, it's a little too open. Oh. The whole point is you want to cool it down very slowly. Then you should have said cracked. <laughs> All right, we're going to let these cool with the door ajar uh, or open for as long as it takes. It, should, be say, it should say slightly open. Slightly open. Uh, I think it needs a modifier. Yeah. Now Keith's does not have a crust. No outer crust. It's the bottom, baby. So Much oh. like Keith, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful, oh. kind of. Oh. Uh, an 
nice short little boy. Interesting. Aww. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you know what? That would be yeah. 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 Okay, so now I'm gonna make my little salad situation, and I'm like, what should I do? How do I make it unique? Well, they've got raspberries in there. I love raspberries. And there was trail mix. That trail mix got some raisins in it. I'm gonna put raisins into the raspberries. A little raisin surprise. The raisinberries. Raspberries. <laughs> Keith, you have a. You're following the citrus directions pretty closely. I mean, yeah, I'm doing some things that they asked for. I'm doing some things they didn't. I'm stuffing lemon raisins into the raspberries. I got a great idea. Not only do we have raisins in the raspberries, I'm gonna put the raspberries into the strawberries. We're making a turducken experience with berries. It's gonna be hysterical. Part of dating, part of relationships, is trying to surprise one another. <laughs> sometimes there's rose petals on the bed. You come home, sometimes there's a roast in the oven. You come home, sometimes there's raisin in your raspberries and your strawberries. <laughs> I would not eat my sauce and make out with anyone. I wouldn't make out with anyone and then eat your sauce. Out of respect for your sauce. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But first things first, Keith, juggle those eggs! We're juggling eggs! We're juggling eggs! From, From the, the top, top, make it drop, that's some yummy brownies! Sugar, dun, 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 dun. for all the yeast. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait. Dun, dun. You, you are my yeast, yeast girl. girl. Okay, that's. And you got me burping oh, too. This guy feels nice and airy. I feel like a cat. Merry, 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 merry pizza. Ping, dong, ping, kong, pan, merry, and song. Hong, then, then, go, hang, going, well, pizza. Creams. We're whipping our creams. We're putting in some sugar to sweeten our dreams. We're whipping our creams to go on our pavlova. Everybody loves a little whipped cream. When you're cooking, you should start to clean up. Yeah, start to clean up as you go. Hey. If you clean as you go, you won't have a sink of dishes and you'll have a lot of smiles and you'll grant a lot of wishes and you'll feel really good about what you did. So clean as you go, clean as, as you go, clean as you go. <laughs> Brownies for me. This is the most cooking I've ever seen you do. <laughs> okay, how long were you saving that joke? I'm the only one who cooks at home. Eugene doesn't cook. It's because he critiques when I make something, so he wants it to be done a certain way. It's not that I can't cook, it's just he wants to cook do all the, the tasty cooking. way. What? I judges, I have at my very first ever palova. Well, we did ask you to make a pavlova. Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> I have some fun citrus fruits going on in there, and I put some raisins. Uh, in all the other fruits. <laughs> oh. So the strawberries you'll find have raspberries in them, and those raspberries in those strawberries have raisins in them. So it's sort of a turducken experience, but all fruit. Uh, Chef Wynn, in your distinguished career, have you ever seen a raisin in a raspberry in a strawberry? 15 years of work, and I've never seen this. Wow. You're a pioneer. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Somebody Amen. fly me to France. Start giving me your amazing Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh. That's a... The chef is not having an easy what do we time like, making it. What do we like the most about it? And did you eat one of the berries? No. I'll eat one of the berries. No. The raisin's really the gift yeah. that keeps on giving. <laughs> you know? Wow. It's like... It takes away from uh, the rest of the bubble. Oh, my, it's light. Airy, just like a ballerina gracefully leaping through the air and leaving a race inside. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, we've seen New York, we've seen Italy, we've seen hell. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't seen Chicago! Hey. Chicago brings a totally different kind of pizza to the table. I'm gonna bring it to you. I hope you're excited and ready for some delicious Chicago-style deep dish. 1,000%. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, oh my. Hey.
goodness gracious. I took the flavors of Chicago's Italian combo sandwich and tried to infuse it into the pizza as well. I present proudly Daddy's favorite cheesecake. Daddy's favorite rides again. Last season on Without a Recipe, I dedicated the entire season to my father's favorite flavor combination, cinnamon raisin. He eats a bowl of raisin bran every morning. He's done it since I was born, and he does it every day now. But he loves oatmeal raisin cookies, so I wanted to bring the idea of oatmeal cinnamon raisin to cheesecake. This explains a lot about you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've never seen raisins on a cheesecake before, uh, so I'm excited to see how it pairs up. It smells like an English muffin to me, which is exciting. How like fun. a cinnamon raisin English muffin. <laughs> what, a fun, what a fun surprise for all of us. <laughs> um, it great. definitely smells like daddy. I'm Hell yeah! <laughs> Woo! That's a great, that's a good, I mean, I want to put that as a byline. <laughs> and the fact that you added xanthan gum to a cheesecake using Philly cream cheese is hilarious because Philadelphia cream cheese has the most gums and stabilizers of all the cream cheeses. Well, hot dicks. <laughs> <laughs> is it cheesecake? Definitely. 100% cheesecake. Yes. Even if I do not win this episode, the fact that you enjoyed it, I have worked so hard to make these flavors work. This is my fifth try. This is huge for me. I feel like a victor. You haven't I... won yet. It's not. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, I just, I'm saying this is a huge victory for me. I love this sauce. The sauce was good. Oh my God, I just made a connection. It's like you make sauce or something. I do, and guess what? There's a little bit of my sauce in there. There's a little are you sauce kidding? in there. Make your own delicious burger sauce. Get yourself a bottle today. Shut up, Keith, are you serious? I am, this is, a, I, you this know, is delicious. Yeah, thanks. Bummer, it's not a sauce competition. Yeah, bummer, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. we should really focus in Shut on the- Shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't talk shit about your food. Just let me, let me enjoy it. Jesus, Zach! Fucking tofu, mother. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I would buy this. I just gotta say, I love that you found it creative. I love that you found the presentation really nice. No. I know that the taste was a little challenging for you, but again, as you grow older, your palates get more refined. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you know you're a little older, you'll understand the flavor. But <laughs> would you say that what I served you today? <laughs> Is a brownie. Yeah, it's a brownie. Hot damn, that sounds good. You're welcome, Mom. She, she's alive. <laughs> now, for our last two brownies, we've got Keese and we've got Eugene's. And Eugene's is so deceiving. <laughs> this looks like a photo shoot. It looks so chocolatey, it looks moist, it even has texture. And we, when we bit into it because of the excess spice, oh, so dry. And then, Kate. It tastes exactly like it looks. <laughs> it, no deceit there. It doesn't <laughs> taste like it looks. Oh, wow, really? It looks so fudgy, it almost looked like a bar of fudge, but yet it was dry. Mommy's mystery. Mommy's <laughs> mystery. <laughs> we got there. Mommy's, Mommy's mystery. mystery. How is it dry? Mm. Both brownies are deceptive. Creative. <laughs> the question we're all waiting to have answered is who lost the most? <laughs> now, in fourth place for this brownie baking competition. <laughs> You know, I tried. I was trying to make box brownies, and you know, and that's what happened. Didn't work out. You're good with words. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but they were really great ideas for both of them. It is not often that on first try, first recipe, that you get winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are step one toward mm -hmm. an amazing recipe. Keep yeah, trying. you just need a couple more steps. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah. Keep trying. We'll keep trying. Well, this was exciting. I'm thrilled that I lost in a deserved fashion this time. It kind of feels like winning. Now, it was really difficult between these last three to decide who ultimately was in third place. And third place pizza goes to Ned. Oh! What? <laughs> what? I made you a pizza <laughs> clock! Oh my gosh, what time is it? What time is it? <laughs> Shit. 
is historic. <laughs> Never before has it come down to keep in Zach. Okay, you would spot that. My heart is beating like this crazy. Is crazy. <laughs> I am crazy. crazy. How many do I need, you guys? I, don't know. I literally, like, my heart's beating so fast that my stomach is beating. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Zach. Thank you. Yes. Keith. Yes, Quasi. It comes down to you two. New York versus Chicago. One of these pizzas felt familiar. I felt like I was home. Yeah. The flavors, the taste, the other pizza, foreign, different, yeah. new. But keep in mind, the familiar is still explosively <laughs> creative. Now, both of these pizzas was fantastic. <laughs> but one of these pizzas, it edged out the other. Brooklyn, New York, I love you. Keith, you're the winner. <laughs> Such a journey. <laughs> so many thirds, so many fourths. I thought my highest achievement this season would be a single second place, but I, I finally did it. I clawed my way up. But one of us isn't wow, going to get man, to you guys scream hold, hold Top two, baby. <laughs> Look at us, motherfucker. <laughs> top two. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Both were incredible attempts. The winner technically was the most sound. Mm. It had all the elements of a pavlova. The fruits that were in the recipe garnished it correctly with what was suggested with whipped cream. Um, it was really close. It was really, really close. But we did have to choose a winner. The winner of this competition is I won the Papa Volvo Award! <laughs> oh my god! This is huge for me! And you know what? I feel like I am a Pavlovo. A lot of people say I have such a hard exterior, but inside I'm all gooey, and also I'm full of secret raisins. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, every element that you added was really not working. <laughs> um, you know, you were the only person that really nailed the crunch of the crust. So. But you didn't love my, my cool creativity. No. It was a good effort. Thanks. Good effort. I can't imagine any of us know how to make cheesecake. And if anybody does successfully make cheesecake, they cheated. The final two cheesecakes on display. One by Eugene. Nine liquors went into this cheesecake. Adorned with fruits, chocolate, and berries of all kinds, this cheesecake had an excellent texture, a half pipe of a ramp of a crust, and overall was a very good bake. On the other end of the arena sits Keith's Daddy's home cinnamon raisin. Daddy's favorite. Daddy's favorite. <laughs> Daddy's home. A lot of Daddy's home. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> Daddy's home. Yeah, that's and great. you can't believe what you did with this cheesecake. <laughs> it's got a great crust, an excellent texture, and a lot of flavor as well. Both of these cheesecakes could rise to the top of the Pantheon. Both of them have so many wonderful attributes. Mm. Only one of these will take the first place finish. And to the first place winner, I will say this. Daddy's home! Oh my god! Daddy's favorite! Daddy's favorite! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so big! Oh my god, this is so big! Keep Daddy's favorite dance! Daddy's favorite dance! Give us a dance! This is so big. Let me just take a seat. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys don't know how hard you worked on to get here. I put so much work into last year's season and I didn't have much to show for it and it haunted me. After this victory, I am daddy's favorite. Well, Keith, this time you were daddy's favorite. <laughs> I wish I had some cinnamon in there. Sorry, I didn't mean to have any cinnamon on set. I don't know how that happened. Oh my god, he's an actual dad. Yeah, I know. That's the point. Right, I know. I get it. And he loved the race.